Today in Selma, Alabama, the body of Congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge for the final time. Michelle Miller is there. As a bridge, Edmund Pettus is quite unremarkable. Four lanes, 1,300 feet. But its historic symbolism is powerful. And powerful it was today as the architect of that symbolism. John Robert Lewis made his final crossing. On a horse-drawn caisson, Lewis was carried across the Alabama River on his way to Montgomery, the marcher's intended destination on that bloody Sunday in 1965. Brown Chapel AME Church served as the rallying point that day, and it's where his friend and Congresswoman Terry Sewell led today's final prayer service in Selma. John was determined to fight for equality and justice. People of all stripes lined the streets to say farewell and holler, Good job! Cheyenne Webb Kreisberg has a tortured history with the bridge. As an eight-year-old, she was the youngest marcher that day. What does it mean for you to be here today? It's going to be a sad moment, but he has laid the foundation for us to continue to work. One of the things that we must do is stand up, get up, and continue to fight. The Alabama portion of Lewis's remembrances will conclude tonight at the State House in Montgomery. Then it's off to Washington, the scene of his second act, where the conscience of the Congress will lie in state at the Capitol. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Selma, Alabama.